Hey coaches, welcome to another edition of Talking Football with Coach Mackey. I'm your host, Coach Mackey. And in today's video, I'm going to go over how to run the air raid offense using only two schemes. See, last video I did was how you could run the air raid offense and only using four passing plays and just using one formation. And then uh, Coach G came out and was like, hey coach, what you need to do a video where you're only running two at the most run schemes and package that in as a deal. And I was like, you know what, buddy, that's a freaking fantastic idea. I'm going to talk about it. So uh, without further ado, if this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. We got some coaches coming in. I am Coach Ron Mackey. If you enjoy talking about all things football, offense, defense, special teams, that's a lie, I don't, don't talk about special teams, uh, passing game, running game, anything like that. If that's what you like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification over there, because that's all we talk about on this channel. I got some coaches coming on. Hey, give me a, uh, let me know where you're calling in from, from the uh, Coach Mackey Show, Coach Cooper, welcome. Co Brent, what's going on? Uh, I'm trying to say it right. Mr. Fanatic, there we go, I said it right. Rod, what's going on? Coach Jones, you did something, just got Madden, and I'm awful taught, hey, it takes work. I, I promise you, I play, I've played probably 10 years worth of Madden. Uh, 10,000 hours right there. Coach Jolly, what's up, Moby? Coach Jones, what's going on? Dave, what's up from Texas? Uh, Shan from Florida, hello, hello. Bull Sharts, I freaking... I love that name. Coach Albert, what's going on from Houston? Coach Crawford, what's going on? Keith from D.C., Tony Bananas, what's going on from Staten Island? Six plays, you can do that totally. Yes, sir, cold. Uh, Lewis, what's going on? Robert, hello. John, welcome. Todd Wilson from Virginia. John from Ohio. What's up, Coach uh, Tyler from L.A., I think, California. Coach from Alabama, South Florida. All right, so here we go. I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to talk about the two plays. Now, one of them, I guess you will get. You're going to say, heck yeah, that's what coach is going to run. Another one, you're going to be like, what the hell is he talking about? Let me pull this up just a little bit. All right, so here's my criteria. It's got to, the two plays have to be flexible enough so that we can have tags, so that it doesn't look like there's only two plays. We're confusing the defense and all of that. And the first one, I'm just going to go ahead and knock it out there, the pin and pull. I'm a huge fan of the pin and pull. I have an ebook on the pin and pull. If you want that uh, in the, the comments below, if you haven't read it, just put pin and pull. I'll shoot you the link to the uh, book. I like it because it is both our best run and our best pass. It puts a defender in conflict, and I love that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up the pin and pull going to the left, Okay. So let me move that back just a little bit. Everything all right? Does it sound good? If it sounds good, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on. So I'm going to run the pin and pull to the left. Now, the wide receivers know that if pin and pull is coming their side, they automatically block. They don't have a gift. They don't have anything. So these guys right here are blocking. Let me get a new pin. My kids have ruined this one. Sorry about that. That's what, what I love about live. All right. So they're blocking. They're blocking. Backside is where the RPO is going. But before we get to that, we're going to pull some people. Now, here's the thing. you I'm going to pull this center. And you're thinking right now, there's no way on God's green earth, my center, who's his big juicy self, is going to be able to pull around. But if you practice it every single day, if you have drills where he snaps and then he pulls when it's the pin and pull day, he can do it. I promise you, every single center we have had since I've been at Crestwood, where I've been at, has pulled when we snap the ball. It can be done. You just have to practice it every day. Our rule, front side, do you have somebody there head up the outside? Yes, so you're zone blocking. Really simple. Is anyone head up the outside? No, then you block down. Then that means the center is pulling, skip pulling to the front side linebacker. Back side, you just base block. This is the guy we are reading. He knows he has to run a snag one yard deep than that man. And then we can have a couple of things. You can have an in route as the oh shit, or you can just have a hitch. It totally depends on what you want to do. Now the running back, he is lined up on the outside or the inside foot of the tackle, and he is running straight. And what he is trying to do is the first thing. Once he passes that center, if he sees daylight, he puts his foot in the ground, and he goes 90, 90 degrees straight up there. 
just like that. That is how we run our pin and pull. Now, why would I use the pin and pull? Because it just looks like also I'm either handing the ball off or running it. Well, with a simple tag. With a simple read tag, you can tell this tackle right now that he is double teaming and then they're slipping up to the linebacker and then you are reading the end. So you get a twofer. You can, you can run it normally and you can key this linebacker. If he flows over the top, you throw the snag. If he sits, you just hand it off. Or if you want, you can give a retag. And what that retag does is it just turns the backside into a key screen. And then you're reading the end like it's inside zone. So that's the very first run I would install if I can only get two. So if you have anything in the comments, go ahead, put them. I am going to look. I like that. A lot of y'all want to know, learn more about the pin and pull. It is unbelievable. No jokes best run and pass that we have had the past three years. It's unbelievable. All right, I run the buck sweep, reading the tackle. You can do that. I'm not a big fan of the buck because to me, the buck, you need to have a tight end. Pin and pull, you can go straight up uh, 10 personnel. Love the play even though we live on counter. Counter's good now. I like it. Uh, Jason does this a lot, coach. Okay. Yeah, he does. For the uh, Eagles, yep. Uh, amen, coach. Just a believer last year. Myself, good. Wow, Coach Nosegarner, three four. Uh, let's see a center pull in front of him. No, if it's a three four, then it we pull the guards. It changes up based on what the formation is. Love the play. Don't love pulling my center, Coach. If you've uh, pulled them before, have you pulled them before? Have you ever tried it? I promise you, they can do it. They can do it. I run the buck uh, sweep, reading the tackle midline with the crack. Hey, those wing T guys, they can do that all they want. Remember, I want to run the throw. I, I just love throwing the ball. Would rather run power and pull, uh, and pull the guard. You can totally do that. Any issues with snaps from a pull and center? Uh, we did starting out, but when you rep it every single day, no issues. I mean, none. And we had some guys that were itty bitty and as wide as my room, and they were able to snap and pull. It's just, will you commit to practicing it every single day? That's on you as a coach, not on the players. They can do anything. You know? And this is why. Uh, you know, coaches, we're very quick to say, hey, that kid can't do this. That, we can't throw the ball because we don't have a kid. We can't run the ball because or we can't run this play because the center can't pull or anything like that for sports. But when we get them in the classroom, we can't go, you know what? You don't look like you can read. I'm not going to teach you how to read. Or you don't look like you can do math. I'm not going to teach you how to do the math. Why is there a disconnect between the two? We've got to teach them in the classroom. Why can't we teach them on the football field? That's just what I believe in. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Draw. Hold on, John. Hold on. Jump in the gun. Dave, coach, do you have anything on practice schedules for a week or maybe an insertion schedule? I do. If you go and look at some older videos, I have them up there. Three-day install. Is the R cutting up inside the left tackle? The running back, uh, he can. He's just finding grass. That's it. It, it. The whole philosophy is find grass, take grass. If he can get to the outside, he gets to the outside. If not, he plants, and he's only got one move, plant and go. He can't juke and jive and all that. I run inside and outside zone. Used Chip Kelly's rip run technique on the outside. That's great. I love Chip Kelly when he was at uh, Oregon. Any play action or option where you read the safety instead of a linebacker or edge? No, I, I, I don't like the third level. It's, it's too difficult. It, it's too long of a read. For only two runs, I would either run inside zone and wide zone or run gap scheme, power, counter, pin and pull. I like where your head's at. What's the name of this play again, coach? It's the uh, pin and pull. You can name it anything you want. Uh, inside zone, I was worried about the center also, but we had success with it at JV and varsity once they got used to it. Thank you, Todd. Todd, I love you, man. Uh, amen, coach. Preach. <laughs> does it hit most often in the B gap? Uh, it does if you have an outside shade. Sometimes that guy will knife in, and if he knifes in, the tackle will wash him and it bounces outside. Good question. Uh, what if you need to burn the clock, coach? Running? No, I score. I don't care. I'm not trying to run the clock. If you ever go back and watch games where offenses are just destroying defenses, then all of a sudden, case in point, here's an example. Uh, Lincoln Riley, when he was in Georgia against Georgia that first year. He was destroying him, and all of a sudden he got that TB, that tight butthole, and then he just locked it up, tried to run it out, and what happened? Georgia came back. I say, that's why I love Baylor. They never took their foot off the gas. It didn't matter if they were drumming people 70 to 8. It's, it's not your job to stop your offense. It's the defense's job to stop your offense. Keep scoring, man. Keep scoring. I'm late, Ron. Start over. Watch the uh, replay there, Eli. <laughs> 
Uh, but I would like to learn more about the pin and pull. Check my book. I will give it to you. We teach every lineman all the pulls to get extra reps, and they are interchangeable. They get it with practice. I agree. All right, so here's the first one. The second one's going to surprise you, and this is something I've been toying with a lot this off season. Just thinking time. Uh, what's thinking time? I, I have a topic. I put it on a uh, sheet of notebook paper, and I write about it, free write, for about 10 minutes. I don't stop. And you may think that's woo-woo, but I promise you, coaches, if you do that, you would be a better coach at, right now because you get some freaking unbelievable ideas. The second one is actually power. Okay? Now, let me draw it up real quick. I feel like I'm playing Pictionary right now. Y'all need to guess when I... <laughs> what I'm doing, but the power is going to be a little bit different and I'm just going to draw it up with just the box. Okay. How I would do this if I was going to run, um, power is I would attach both at a two by two. I would attach hitches. I keep saying it. I sound like a broken record. Hitches changed the game for us last year instead of key screens. Why get mad when wide receivers aren't able to block the ball when all you have to do is just have them run three steps, turn around, and catch a pass? That's it. Now, instead of power read where, you know, you have the guy the back over here and going, and let me just draw up power. That's how we would do it right here. Hinge. Okay? Why don't people, and let me know if you do this because I, I'm not original. Why don't you do the dive? and still read the end. So if the end crashes, then you hand the ball off. Now you've got an extra blocker in there pulling for the running back. If he crashes down, then you pull the ball and you run with the quarterback. That's the, I, Honest to God, I have been jonesing to see that. Please, someone in the comments, put some uh, a team down there that actually does that. At a 10 personnel, not the, zone, not the read aspect, and I'll draw that up real quick if you don't know what I'm talking about. So you got a tackle, you got an end, you got the backer, you're doubling there, there, you're pulling around, and you've got your tailback, and you're running it like this, the invert, the uh, inverse veer. That's usually what people do at a 10 personnel if they want to get power. I don't understand why you don't line this tailback up right here and run power dive and read the end. Because usually what defenses are thinking is you're going to attack one side and they got to watch the other. But this read right here, you're attacking the same side. So you're really confusing the defense because they, they think they have you covered, but you don't. And why I like this is because you can also switch it and have the, the inverse like that. So you can have two runs with two tags, and you've got every gap accounted for that you can attack. I freaking love that. All right, let's see what y'all are saying. Uh, yeah, tempo coach. You a tempo type coach? I am. I am coach. Uh, I do that at a pistol. How's it go, Anthony? Does it work? Pin and pull and inside zone pair with GT counter. That's good if you got three coach. Dave, everything we do is based off the dive play and we can tag, trap, power, counter, dive, blast on the same action. Hey, I like it. I thought the same years ago. Just need film. Yes, Tyler, I agree. Midline pretty much. Baylor did 2013 to 15. They did this play? I don't think I saw that. I need to go back and watch all my Baylor film. We went two years ago and like it. We ran all variations, dive, read, bash, toss, shovel, all with one play. That's good. You run read options. Nice. I do. We did it once and the QB misread it and fumbled. Hey, come back to it. Do it again. To me, this is this this is going to be a play. I promise you. We did that. Essentially replaced the pulling guard with an H in one state because we hate pulling guards. I totally understand that. Thanks for covering my topic. Hey, Coach G, thank you for giving me that topic. We had a tough time reading the end with the tailback coming from that angle. So, I mean, to me, it's the same angle as if you're teaching inside zone. We teach our guys aim for the center's ass. That's it. And then you can bang or bend. But now you're just saying aim for the center's ass and then bend it back. So you're even taking out the bounce front side. That's what I like about it because running backs want to keep bouncing it all the time. You forgot play action calls for pass plays. No, I didn't. Just flash fake. Run your normal pass plays. Don't change up just because it's play action. Uh, the Missouri counter you have on Instagram is freaking flawless. I do like that. You were right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I believe Lincoln Valley in Ohio does exactly that. Lost in state championship this year. I'm OC, so I'll have to watch that film to be sure. Please. And if you can, shoot me the film because I would love to see it. Love it. It's the first play we put in. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. You can put an H on the left and have him pull across like GT counter, but have him arc to the outside backer to get the end. You can do that. We've done something similar where we call that the slip. 
Flutters ran that same side power trap. See, I'm not original. My middle school center kills it on pin and pull. The linebackers never see it. I hate midline off a shotgun. Didn't like running. A, yeah, I don't. I don't like it either. That's like a Veer Reed coach. Hey, I just think there's something there. There's just something there. All right. So, coaches, thank you so much for uh, being here. Hey, if you want some football stuff, I'm fixing to get on Twitch right now. It's uh, Twitch TV slash Coach Mackey. Join me. Let's create a playbook. Let's run some games with the air raid. I hope y'all are safe. I am on day four. We're still watching Frozen 2. It is killing me. And uh, I hate all the songs. I do. I really do. I'm, I'm a Frozen 1 kind of guy. So hope you're safe. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. High fives. Butt slaps. And until next time, coaches, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun. I will see y'all tomorrow.